Okay, so Lotto's Powerball, $43 million, was not won last night. Eight um, winners in the first division, I think it was, 160-odd K each. But the big one, jackpots through to Saturday and must now go. I think it's um, this must be $50 million, close to Lotto's biggest prize. The rule state, it can't be bigger than $50 million, if I'm correct. Um, does it have to be won this Saturday? How big is this thing going to be? $50 million. If you caught the show yesterday, you would have heard us um, talking about Lotto. Here's the bit that got me. You got the same chance of winning as being hit by a meteorite, which proved the case last night. Um, Lucy Fullerton from Lotto New Zealand uh, is with us now. G'day, nice to see you. Morena, nice to see you. I, I, get, I don't know why I get so excited about this stuff, but 50, is, it, is it confirmed 50 million now? It is 50 million, that's right. That's what we're going on Saturday night for. Yep. F- that's, is that the third time we've had that? Third time. So the other two times, bizarrely, were both in 2020, one in February, one in August. It never happened before then. So, yeah. So 2020, it never happened before then, and this is the first time since. So this is really rare, um, being to win all that sort of thing. Um, it, the chances are pretty... I mean, we heard this yesterday, you know. You yeah. gotta, I mean, if you get hit by a meteorite on the way out of here, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> bit sceptical about that meteorite claim. Oh, but, really? <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm not an expert on meteorites. But look, your chances, it is lotteries globally are basically a lot of people yeah. spending a little bit for a small chance to win a big prize. And that's how it works. So it is just for fun. It's not an investment by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but it's just fun to dream. Uh, yeah, that's right. I, I agree. And this is, what, this is why I'm talking about it, because we all dream big, right? Dream big. And imagine what you that's do right. with 50 million. I mean, I've thought about it all morning as I walked on in here. The, with 50 million... Um, what sort of uh, interest do you think there'll be and how do you manage that in the coming days? Yeah, we expect there will be quite a bit of interest. So last night's draw, we saw a a bit of a step up from the previous ones um, and we expect it to be the same level of step up again on Saturday. Mm. So we really are encouraging people to get in early. So there will probably be queues at your local lotto store um, and they ramp up from sort of Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And online and the hour before the draw, that's when um, people sort of suddenly think, oh, I better get my ticket. So if you can get it earlier than that. What's the most tickets we've sold for one of these power, big Powerball draws, do you know? Yeah, I imagine back in 2020 it would have been up there, and I don't know the exact number. So last night we're still working through the numbers, mm. but it looked like it was about 1.7 million tickets, so it was a lot of tickets. <sighs> yeah. is, isn't it? That's almost almost um, every second New Zealander buying. You know? Yeah, and what we see is there's a lot of people who um, don't buy a lotto ticket until it gets above a certain amount. You know, yeah. they sort of have their level, yes. um, and, and for a lot of people that is sort of 30 million or 40 million, and then they suddenly hear about it on the news and they normally don't even have it on their radar and yeah. so they pop in and buy a ticket. So 50 million, so how much is raised in terms of just the ticket buying process? So we, if everyone buys a ticket, you know, if we all, buy all the tickets that will be bought this weekend, what's what's that likely to you know, cost New Zealanders? You know? Yeah, look, it's a good question. We don't have the um, the final sales numbers from last night, so mm. I don't know that off the top of my head. I mean, we are you know we are quite a big business. We're about a $1.5 billion business. Um, it's massive, isn't it? It is, it is. And, and the good thing is that 100% of our profits do go to Kiwi community via the Lottery Grants Board. Mm. So we hand all those over to the Lottery Grants Board. So all the profits go. So, so name some things that um, people will... will um recognised as being from Lotto? Yeah, so the big ones are Sport New Zealand, yep. um, Film Commission, Creative New Zealand. We give, um, you know, quite a bit of it goes to them via the Lottie Grants Board, but then lots of, there's over 3,000 community groups. So some of them are really well known, like Coast Guard, Surf yep. Life Saving New Zealand, um, you know, Big Brothers, um, those those sorts of bigger charities. And then there's uh, just a ton of smaller ones. How do you say no to people? What do you, how do you choose? Well, um, we don't have that job, oh, actually. That's so that, that, <laughs> yeah, so that's right. We have the easy job of, of, um, of running the business. But, um, yeah, so the Lottery Grants Board, have, they're the experts in that distribution mm. model. And they have ways of, you know, that sort of spread throughout the country. It goes across different causes. Yeah. Um, so, so right now there's 50... Million dollars sitting in a bank account waiting to be won. Is it like you, you, the, the zeros are all there, it's sitting there ready to go? Yeah, it's not Ooh. quite that. It's not quite that <laughs> simple because we sort of the way we run it is the jackpot is sort of determined by the sales. It's mm. quite a complex model, but but yeah. So um, so on on Saturday night, obviously we'll have that fifty million. Um, yeah. And, and so so it has to be won this weekend. It has to be won this weekend. It can't roll over. So if it's not won by a single ticket, it rolls down to the next Powerball division where there's winners. So. so so second or third. Right, okay, so yeah, so it, 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 it will have to go, just keep, it keeps going through the scenarios until it wins. That's right, that's so right. So if it doesn't win at the top end, then is it likely that it is shared? Is that, is that how it works? Well, yeah, you would think so. Actually, funnily enough, last night there was obviously no one in first division and there yeah. was one person in second division, and I hope that person's not listening to me right now, but if they had, if oh! that had happened to not, <laughs> So if they, and if they were 48 hours later, yeah. they would have picked that 50 million. That's right. They probably didn't know this until now.
I hope they're not listening. Oh, we do hope they're listening. Uh, <laughs> that's that's that is incredible, isn't it? And it so, is. what did they win last night? Fifty k. Oh, <laughs> let me just gather myself. So fifty k, and even last night, you know, the top the top winners one hundred and sixty six. Yes, so six six ways it was split. Yes, yeah. one hundred and sixty six. So such a big headline figures, but but there's, because it's a definitely must go. That's where the interest comes, isn't it? It is. It is, and it's. I mean, it is just the fun and excitement of it. Um, but but also, you know, because it could roll down and be split. That's quite a nice. What's your advice? So let's say you have won. What's your advice on keeping that ticket safe? Where do people put it? Yeah. You, you don't want to lose it. It's got a vital ticket. Yeah, you'd be amazed how many people um, keep it in the dashboard of their car. Mm. Um, I think so last year about this time we had 30, people who won a $33 million prize and they actually found out on the night but they just took 10 days to process it before no. they claimed. No. They kept the ticket in their sock drawer in that time. Um, <laughs> where, where, you, if you have a home safe, you'd put it there. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Look, the best thing to do is come up and see us and hand it over and people are so so relieved when they hand that ticket over to us but even to say say if I'm because you people would fly to Wellington is that still the case no no it's Auckland oh, so, so we're Auckland? a new market yes right. yes okay. it is Auckland and, and it's really important people know that because we have had winners in the past who have one jumped on a plane to Wellington <laughs> and then called us to say here we are and we have to say oh we're sorry money's no issue don't worry <laughs> well that's true um, okay so by the time they take three days to get from the airport to new market um, <laughs> and come and see you um, where, where, how do people store it on the way like I would be you'd put it in yeah. your wallet and then you keep your wallet on you. You'd yeah. be really quite. You, yeah, you really, you really you'd be nervous, do. Wouldn't you? you would be nervous. You'd be. You'd want to have it on you, so it's not in a bag that you could leave. And I mean, that I never forget. We had one winner who won seventeen million, and she jumped on a bus and caught the bus to our office. And we were closed at the time because it was over Christmas. So she had to jump back on the bus and take this ticket home, keep it for another week, and then get back on the bus. And honestly, I've never seen anyone so relieved to hand that. She won over. seventeen million, hopped on the bus. That's right. I love New Zealand. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, do you are you there when people arrive in the office with their ticket? Are you are yes. you see all this? So there's about there's three of us who who meet with these big winners and support them through those first few hours and days and weeks, um, and it's it's pretty amazing. I mean, it's people are they're people, do people just break break down in front of you and sometimes sometimes I mean everyone's different. You yeah. know, some people um, have have a calm <laughs> way of dealing with it, but I mean this level of of prize is is a major. But so are you so if there's one winner this weekend uh, and they come and see you on Monday, do you literally transfer the money in front of them? Into your, your no, we don't normally do it in front of them. So we do like to have a few things set up before we transfer the money. Um, so preferably we want them to come and see us and talk to us first. We also put them in touch with someone at their bank who's the person that deals with lotto winners. And the so bank's suddenly, suddenly available for them, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a personal banker here. <laughs> so, yeah, that person can really help them. It just makes sure. So the one thing they do is, like, take if they've got a, a brand, a account in a local branch, they lift that up and put it in head office just to give that level of anonymity. Of course, and yes. So get it all set up. We do that before before we transfer the money. Um, interestingly, in Australia, they have like a two-week stand down, so you win and you can't get it for two weeks. Well, we that, don't that do that. Is that is hell. That would be hell. Yeah. You've got yeah. nothing in your account. Let's say you're you know, really broke and you're waiting yeah. two weeks for your 50 million. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you'd be all right. Would yeah. you tell people? Do you, do you advise people to tell people? No, not tell we people. don't. So, yeah. I mean, you, you probably want to tell someone, like maybe it's your husband or someone really close to you, but the first advice, so usually when they claim, they get put through to my team immediately. Oof. And the first thing we say is don't tell anyone. Once you tell them, you can't untell. The, the interesting thing for me is um, do husbands tell wives and do wives tell husbands? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Predominantly, I would say yes. Yeah, look, I've never come across a situation where that hasn't happened. I'm not saying it's never happened. <laughs> you don't know. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Hey, Lucy, I appreciate your time on the program. Thank you. Thank you so much.